Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Today, we're hopping across the river and maybe taking a little ferry ride because we're exploring the 10 best places to visit in Jersey City, New Jersey. You know, for the longest time, people thought New York City was the only place to be. But let me tell you, Jersey City is like that cool, artsy friend you never knew you needed. So buckle up, buttercups, because we're about to uncover some hidden gems and maybe even a delicious pizza place or two. Let's dive in. First up, we're heading to Liberty State Park. Now you know I love a good view, and let me tell you, this park does not disappoint. We're talking panoramic views of the Manhattan skyline that'll make you say, whoa, and that's before we even get to Lady Liberty herself. That's right, folks. You can actually see the Statue of Liberty from here. It's like she's waving hello, but like, in a really big way. And if you want to get even closer to our girl Liberty, you can hop on a ferry right from the park. Just picture it. The wind in your hair, the sun on your face, and the Statue of Liberty in the background. Talk about Instagram worthy. Next, we're off to the Liberty Science Center. And let me tell you, this place is not just for kids. We're talking interactive exhibits that'll make you feel like a kid again, even if you don't want to admit it. You can explore the wonders of the human body, journey through space, and even come face to face with some creepy crawlies. And if you really want to have your mind blown, make sure to check out the planetarium. Trust me, you haven't seen stars until you've seen them projected on a giant dome. It's like being in space, but without the whole zero gravity thing. Now I know what you're thinking. Ellen, we're in Jersey City, not New York City. But let me tell you, Newport Center has got it going on. We're talking stores galore, from your favorite department stores to those little boutiques you can't resist. And after you've shopped till you've dropped, you can refuel at one of the many restaurants. We're talking everything from casual bites to fancy dinners. And if you're feeling lucky, there's even a movie theater where you can catch the latest blockbuster. So go ahead, treat yourself. Chapter four, Jersey City Waterfront, a walk to remember. Okay, let's slow things down a bit and take a stroll along the Jersey City Waterfront. This place is perfect for a romantic walk, a bike ride with friends, or just some quiet time to clear your head. We're talking scenic walkways, lush parks, and breathtaking views of the Manhattan skyline. And if you're lucky, you might even catch a glimpse of a sailboat or two. It's the perfect place to relax, unwind, and soak up some of that Jersey City charm. Chapter 5. The Landmark Lowe's Jersey Theater. A blast from the past. Get ready to step back in time, folks, because we're heading to the Landmark Lowe's Jersey Theater. This grand old dame has seen it all, from vaudeville acts to Hollywood premieres. And let me tell you, she's still got it. Today, the theater hosts a variety of events, from concerts and plays to film festivals and dance performances. So put on your dancing shoes, grab your popcorn, and get ready for a night to remember. Chapter 6. Mana Contemporary. Get your art on. Calling all art lovers. Mana Contemporary is the place to be. We're talking massive galleries showcasing the hottest contemporary artists, working studios where you can see creativity in action, and even some pretty cool events and workshops. You can spend hours getting lost in the art, and trust me, you'll want to take pictures of everything. Just be sure to tag at The Ellen Show so I can see your artistic adventures. Now, if you really want to experience the heart and soul of Jersey City, you gotta head to Hamilton Park. This charming little park is where the locals go to relax, play, and soak up some sun. We're talking lush green lawns, perfect for a picnic, a playground for the little ones, and even a farmer's market where you can stock up on fresh, local goodies. Plus, the park hosts a ton of community events throughout the year, so there's always something fun going on. Ready for some more waterfront views? Of course you are! J. Owen Grundy Park is the perfect spot to relax and soak up the scenery. We're talking stunning views of the Manhattan skyline, a serene waterfront promenade, and plenty of benches where you can just sit back, relax, and watch the world go by. It's the perfect place to escape the hustle and bustle of the city and enjoy some peace and quiet. All aboard! We're taking a trip back in time to the Central Railroad of New Jersey Terminal. This grand old station was once a bustling transportation hub, connecting Jersey City to points all over the country. Today, it stands as a testament to the city's rich history and architectural heritage. You can practically hear the echoes of travelers rushing to catch their trains. 
Just be careful not to get lost in the past. Last but not least, we're ending our tour in Van Voorst Park, a true green oasis in the heart of Jersey City. This charming park has something for everyone, from beautifully landscaped gardens to a lively dog run. You can challenge your friends to a game of bocce ball, let the kids run wild on the playground, or just relax on a bench and soak up the sun. It's the perfect place to end our Jersey City adventure. Well folks, there you have it, the 10 best places to visit in Jersey City. From stunning views and world-class museums to charming parks and historic landmarks, this city truly has it all. So what are you waiting for? Book that trip and be sure to let me know which spot you're most excited to see. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more travel guides and tips. See you next time.